giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Getting into the top 15 here, we're going to start off with team 359. From Wailua, Hawaii, Wailua Intermediate and High School, is this the Hall of Fame Hawaiian kids, 28 and 6 overall, and one of the winners of the Canadian Pacific Regional. So one of the few FRC teams to have already competed twice, 359 followed up their semifinal performance at Del Mar with a dominating performance in Canada. They were the number one seed with an incredible 7 RP advantage uh, over the next ranked team. 359 picked rookie sensation and preseason favorite rookie team name candidate. I don't know if you guys yes. remember this. On one of our early shows, Wingus and Dingus was definitely mentioned. <laughs> how, could you, how could you not? Uh, as well as another rookie team, 7796 yeah. Burnett Robotics and the Alliance Sword, picking up six wins in six matches to take the victory. So congrats to the Hawaiian kids on a great win. I just thought that was so cool, uh, winning with oh, two yeah. rookie teams. Yeah, I mean, and you know that like 359 does their homework, obviously, and they're scouting. So they're mm -hmm. not going to take anybody who they're not completely comfortable with. So um, it just shows you how great Wingus and Dingus and uh, 7796 were at this event. And I, we talk about it every year with the, the, the Flyer Miles with 359. I think I just saw just before the show that Glenn Lee on 359 is looking and is, I think, almost confirmed for 359 to compete at the Western – the Western Canadian regional, I think week six, he what? said. So Del Mar, I think I'm, I'm guessing this day's states stateside or, you know, on this side between Del Mar. A lot of times. I think they do too, but they I'm bring not, like new students occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, you know, they're, they were at, in um, California and then up in, in Canada. Then I'm, I'm guessing the Hawaiian regional is in between now and then, and then it'll be coming back out for week six. It looks like for the Western Canadian regional and then, and then going on to championship too. So, wow. Yeah, 359 is just absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, every year, uh, you know, teams from from Hawaii a lot of times don't get enough love, but 359 has always stood out as a pinnacle uh, top team. And uh, you know, the last couple of years, uh, they've been in that that spot. They feel like last year, right, where they were. Uh, I think part of the six alliance or something like that. This is a robot that has a potential to be an alliance captain of championships, and I think is a great step up for 359. Uh, you, you look at uh, the games from last year to this year, and there can be some great similarities. And I think 359 has really capitalized on that uh, to create an absolutely uh, fantastic robot with that half three climb, uh, just looking really good all around. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right, so that was our 15th ranked team. Oh, it's up to you, Justin. You got this. Yeah, I just I do want to I do want to say now that I'm reading in the chat, uh, I was like Wingus and Dingus. I was when I saw it, I was like, no way. I was like, <laughs> they're, they're not a rookie team. But I looked at, it, I was like, how are they a rookie team? Then I was like, oh, I must be remembering them from when we talked about them in the preseason. But they were also an incredible Vex team. They were. Yeah. That's how I know. Um, that's how I know them. Um, yeah. For my for my brief involvement. Uh, in Vex there when I was in college, but that that explains that. I know I, I don't know one else really cares, but for me that was a good thing to really no for sure get, get across. Um, all right, so moving from fifteen to fourteen, we have Team sixteen ninety from Ben Yamina Hazafan Israel. It's Orbit with an overall record of fourteen and three. They were the finalists at the Israel Number One event. So when you think of first in Israel. Orbit definitely comes to mind when oh, yeah. what you do. Yep. So they're a consistent and dominant force there in their country. And last week, they took the number one seed um, with a 3.0 uh, ranking, ranking score average. They would select another Israel powerhouse team, 1577 Steampunk, and head to the finals there. They would end up losing to the number two seed in the finals, but put forth an amazing effort. They have a two-hatch auto and a level three climb to end the match, and they're competing again at the number four event um, tomorrow and Thursday. Um, so we may be seeing them again. Uh, so I, I would assume we'll be seeing them again next week. So congrats and good luck to 1690 team orbit. Yeah. That bot is so sexy. Look at that thing yeah. on the screen right yeah. now. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, it's very, very smooth. I think it had a couple complications. Uh, I think in the semis, it might've impacted them for finals a little bit. Uh, yeah. no, no disrespect by any means to the teams that won for that, but I fully expect 1690 to be winning, uh, Israel event number four. I mean, that's I mean, just, a, yeah. Yeah. They're, nice they're just on robot. fire. Yeah. Yeah. And just we've talked about at length and had shows on this, just the disadvantages mm -hmm. that um, these international teams have and that there's just such a great group of teams in Israel um, that just consistently just, you know, push each other to, to strive and do better. So 
Um, it's really, really cool to see. So c- congrats to them. Um, something I want to add to is uh, in our uh, first Israel show, they didn't have the uh, top 10 list at the time uh, to see like which teams uh, were that way. But uh, they did actually rank 1690 as uh, the best team, if I remember correctly, um, off of their kind of own subjectiveness that way. Uh, so just showing off like, you know, top 25, bringing them in. And then uh, Israel believes it as well, too. So that's really cool to see both ends come together. Mm-hmm. For sure. Cool. So that was our 14th ranked team. Our 13th ranked team is going to be team 5026. From Burlingame, California, Burlingame High School, it's the Iron Panthers, 13-3 and three overall, and we're the finalists at the Central Valley Regional. So you really didn't think that California was going to let 1678 have all the triple climb fun, did you? The Iron <laughs> Panthers also sporting a triple climb ability uh, that was a fan favorite at Central Valley. Their HAB climb score bested all the other teams at the event, including 1678, earning them the number three overall uh, rank. The top three teams boast an RS of three or higher, which is also extremely rare. Um, at, at, at any event, much less um, uh, one so early. So while climbing was their specialty, they also scored well, and they led their alliance to the finals, earning themselves a wild card. So if you haven't uh, to have a chance to see the robot, you can catch it again week five at Silicon Valley. But it was really, really cool. Uh, I was watching the final matches to see both alliances at the end uh, doing triple climb, 15-26 yeah. on one side and 16-78 on the other. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. They may or may not make our Clips of the Week video we'll just have to see mm, foreshadowing <laughs> cool. I, I also had to look up how to say burling game because i was like <laughs> it looks like it looks like burling game but maybe it isn't <laughs> you just never know that's, that's, that's always right. the best part of either doing this or being a game announcer is just trying to yeah, figure right? out like yeah. being a game announcer especially at champs where you can't just go you know you don't necessarily have the time to go around and ask you know 300 teams yeah. like how do you say your city how do you say your city say that one more yeah. time like yeah always the fun part yeah, for sure. Cool. All right, moving on to the 12th ranked team is team number 20. From Clifton Park, New York, and Shenandoah High School, it's the Rocketeers. They have an over- overall record of 16-2, and two, and they were the winners of the New York Tech Valley Regional. So welcome back um, to team 20, to the top 25. It has been a while for them. Uh, but it's a team that Justin and I are pretty familiar with being from uh, New York up there. So a great team who built some really cool, really unique robots year after year. Uh, at the Tech Valley Region, they were a, a, um, a part of three unicorn, unicorn matches, the four ranking point matches. And with a 2.83 ranking score average, they earned the number one seat at the regional. They would select 2791 and 7651 um, and take the win in six matches there. So another excellent robot this year from the Rocketeers. Um, and they'll be up next at the Hudson Valley Regional next week. Um, so good luck to them and uh, um, for their hopefully continued success. So, yeah, 20 just always you know, year after year just kind of approaches the game uniquely um, is just always pretty consistent in what they do um, and usually pretty successful. And uh, I know we've played with them uh, a few times and have, you know, some friends on the team or, or once on the team. So uh, congratulations to the Rocketeers. For sure. Um, and they will not be, Justin will not be seeing them this year. They're not going to Finger Lakes uh, yeah. Regional, which they do a lot, but not as much anymore with more New York events. But Yeah, the New York Regional District model is tricky. <laughs> <laughs> with There's the so much contention in that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All righty, so moving on to our 11th ranked team. That's going to be team number 2767. From Kalamazoo, Michigan, it's Strike Force, 14-2 overall. And we're the semifinalists at the St. Joseph's event in FIM. The two-time defending world champs took the robot to the field for the first time this past weekend and picked up right where they left off, going undefeated in the qualification rounds, claiming the top spot. However, Trouble did find the number one alliance in the semifinals, uh, but worry not, 2767, the robot will be tuned up once again to compete at the Kentwood event in week five. So good luck to Strike Force. And I really tried hard to find some information on the upset, and I, I couldn't. So I don't know if you guys saw anything or heard anything. or the Yeah, it, it is on VOD on the Twitch channels, but a lot of these are being really slow to upload. Um, actually, uh, just a real quick aside. Um, so Michigan didn't fall into this trap, but I don't know if any of you guys noticed this weekend that uh, pretty much all of the uh, First Inspires events uh, had issues for about three to four hours on Friday morning. Mm-hmm. Um, so the, just a general thing, there's I think there's going to be a lot of slow uploads this week. Uh, I don't know why Michigan is so far behind since they're not in that. And I would think they'd be able to get their stuff up right away because they use vMix. So a little confused on that. But uh, yeah, yeah just, just a heads up. You might see some delays in that because for some reason... Uh, things just got jammed as they got routed through through first headquarters uh, for a long time because all the videos are out there first before they do uh, to yeah. Twitch for some reason. 
So I'm not seeing any. Nobody's volunteering in the chat. Um, what maybe the upset was from, but again, if you check out region recap, um, a lot of these things get discussed in those, in those events or in those shows. So uh, make sure you check out those on Monday night. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers, keeping fun loud, live and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates. Now.